Hey guys, this is Frozen Wish Dues here, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on a certain movie news. And yeah, um, now I was actually debating on if I should make this video or not, considering that I still got a bunch of videos uh, to make uh, throughout this week. But I figured I thought I'd just give, I just do this, but si I just do it since it, it's going to be quick. Uh, so yeah, um. A few days ago, I'm not sure if it was yesterday or like a few days ago, but like, but yeah, recently, uh, Shrek 5 has been confirmed by Eddie Murphy. Yeah, for a while now, Shrek 5 has been leaked, rumored, and speculated that it was actually going to happen. Well, technically, we knew it was going to happen since ever since the ending of Possible Zoo. Since if you guys remember the end of Possible Zoo Last Wish, uh, it ended off with uh, Puss, and Puss like heading to far, far away and uh, saying that uh, he's going to he, that, that he's going to go on a new adventure to meet old new friends like that. Uh, so th that's like pretty much a sign that Shrek Five is happening. But the fact that you know it's actually going to release in two thousand and twenty five. It is is a rumor, uh, and we actually speculated that Shrek Five was going to release in uh the, in September two thousand twenty five, September twenty six. But unfortunately, uh, that slot was taken by another DreamWorks movie that goes by the name of Gabby's Dollhouse the movie, which, uh, yeah, I am not excited for that one. Yeah, even though I am excited for you know some of DreamWorks' upcoming films like The Bad Guys Two, uh. And I am very curious about the uh, Dogman. We'll see. Even though I kind of, even though I like having on your, your pants, uh, Dogman, um, it'll depend on, uh, it'll depend on the trace for it. Uh. But yeah, Bad Guys 2 is hands down my, my, my most anticipated upcoming uh, DreamWorks film. Uh, but yeah, it looks like uh, we, we now have like kind of a confirmation that Shrek 5 will release in 2025. And in addition to Eddie Murphy announcing Shrek 5 releasing in, in 2025, he also announced a Donkey spin-off movie is going to be in development. Uh, so yeah, not, so it's not only about Shrek 5, but the Donkey movie too. Um, let's start with my thoughts on Shrek 5, my honest thoughts. I know people are crazy hyped about Shrek 5 because uh, not only um, is Shrek 5 going to be the return of you know, what one of the most iconic fictional characters ever, but but they but you know it's clear that you know they're going to pull off in another Puss Boots 2 considering how Puss in Boots 2 is loved the Shrek 5 is, is likely going to reuse the, the, the animation style of Puss in Boots 2 I don't want to call it the Spyverse animation style Puss in Boots 2 they didn't even have a lot of your Spyverse like effects despite using a comic book slash storybook style animation but Shrek 5 is, is going to reuse the style That that's the main reason why it's hyped up but but yeah, I honestly would beg to differ. My honest thoughts on Shrek 5, I don't buy it. I'm sorry. I honestly do not buy it. Uh, I Now, I will keep an open mind for Shrek 5. I think it might surprise me, but, but I think it might be surprisingly decent, all the stuff, but I'm not expecting much from it. So yeah, I don't have that high, that high uh, expectations for it. But you want to know why um, I'm not particularly excited for it? Um, yeah, for let yeah, you know why? Because uh, because it's unnecessary. It just doesn't feel necessary. And um, yeah, Shrek Forever After was was such a perfect conclusion to to uh, the 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 Shrek franchise. Uh, it it told a perfect conclusion. Uh, and that that's why. Um, Yo, Jim. That's why they said they clearly said that Shrek, that Shrek Forever After was uh, is the end of the Shrek films. It may seem like that this movie was only made uh, just to cash in on Possible Two success, but like, I mean, but based on the ending of Possible Two, um, it was clear that that DreamWorks actually wanted to 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 make a Shrek. Five even before uh Possible Two became a massive hit, uh, especially critically. Um, but yeah, I don't think Shrek 5, I don't, I don't think we need a Shrek 5, um, 
Yeah, I'm sure the animation will be pretty solid. I mean, I I don't want Hollywood to 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 do too much of uh, the Spider-Verse animation style, the quote unquote Spider-Verse animation style. I don't want it to replace uh, CG animation because I I still love uh, CG animation to death. Uh, I like I I love the realistic style, uh, especially of, of of the previous Shrek films, uh, particularly Shrek Two, Shrek Forever After. They have really good, gorgeous animation. But I mean, maybe I mentioned it in Shrek Five will be good. I hope that th- that they make a good villain. Um, like like you know, like Death. I hope that Shrek Five can give us a great villain. Uh, you know, so like one who is as good as Death. Um, and I hope we get another character like Goldilocks, and voiced by a character I. Voiced by a character I you know it actually I'm passionate about. I actually pitched an idea for the Shrek universe. I actually pitched an idea. Um uh, and yeah, a, a Red Riding Hood. Yeah, a grown up Red Riding Hood. Uh, voiced by Haley Steinfeld. Yeah, I uh, had that idea pitched for a while. Uh, I had it. I wanted her to be in Shrek in Puss in Boots three. Uh, which by the way, I would rather much rather see a Puss in Boots three than than, than a Shrek five. And maybe either she could be the the main antagonist of the movie, uh, or uh, she can be an antihero like Goldilocks, like like a a uh, sympathetic uh, character. Uh but either way, yeah, I mean, yeah. So she's gonna be like very similar to Goldilocks, like um, like Go- Goldilocks, um, you know, an adult uh, Red Riding Hood, um, yeah. Like how do I say this? Uh, an adult uh, Red Riding Hood, uh, like voiced by uh, not 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 adults, maybe like teenagers, like somewhere around the same level as Goldilocks, yeah, like a Red Riding Hood, uh, voiced by Haley Steinfeld. That would be awesome. Um, if they can do those things now, I I don't think the mo- I'm sure the movie will, will be different from what I expected. I'm sure the, the the movie will go into a different path, but uh. uh Maybe if they cast an act, if they add added an actress I'm passionate about, uh, then I will be excited for this movie. Then I will be like, okay, th- th- this could be one of the better Shrek movies. But right now, I just don't buy into just just the idea of of this movie's existence. Uh, and I know people are going to, are going to, to uh, defend the statement about the you know, Shrek Forever after being being. The perfect conclusion, you'll know, say, oh, but but Frozen, you don't get it. Shrek for Forever After was a bad movie, and uh, it it didn't feel like a proper conclusion. Uh, the movie was not good. Uh, the reason why Shrek Five is needed is because we need we need a a, a better conclusion to to of to the Shrek films. We we need, we need a conclusion that that where the movie itself is actually good. Yeah, I honestly don't think uh, I don't even think uh, this this will top. Uh, Shrek Five was the best uh, Shrek movie. No, uh, my, my, my. I don't think that this will even top Shrek Forever After. Now, don't get me wrong. Shrek Forever After is not a perfect movie. It's not perfect, but I love it. I think Shrek Forever After is underrated. And I'm not saying it's good just because of Shrek Fearless. I know there are some people who only de- who decided that to to call Shrek Forever After an, an underrated jump just because of Shrek Fearless. So. And then some people, some people would be like, "Oh, you always say it's good because of Shay Freelas, but like you don't even get it. I mean, it's just Shay Freelas. He and he's wrong about it." Yeah, but I've actually heard some people say that you know they actually they admitted that that you know watching Shay Freelas just reveals Shrek Forever After is what made them initially change their minds to like the film. But when they actually went back in the movie and and uh, rewatch it, uh, re and rewatch it, they're like, "Nah, it's not that good, actually." Um, yeah, it's not that good actually. Um, and I'm not gonna say 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 the name of that user. I am not going to speak speak the name of that user. But uh, um, yeah. Um, this one user who who was once a, a Shay Freelas fan, but but now hates Shay Freelas. He liked Shrek Forever After and, and, and immediately rated it a five star. So uh, just because of Shay Freelas's uh video on Shrek Forever After, but then uh. But then when he started hating on Shay Frillers, he eventually started to hate on Shrek Forever After just to trigger Shay Frillers. I won't mention the name, but I, I think you guys might know who, who I'm talking about. I yeah, I'm not gonna bring up his name whatsoever. Um So yeah, Shrek 5, yeah, it's not one of my most anticipated movies 2005, 2025. I will give it a chance, I will watch it open mind, but it is unnecessary and yeah. 
nowhere near among my most anticipated movie of 2025. Yeah, um, I am much more hyped for uh, Zootopia 2. Um, I am I am much more excited for Zootopia 2 since uh, Zootopia 2 uh, is uh, my most anticipated animated film of 2025. So, anyways, yeah, that so yeah, track five. Now I still uh, have to talk about uh, the donkey movie, the the, the donkey spinoff. Since I I said I was gonna include a video, and honestly, the donkey movie. Oh man, yeah, um. Strike Five. At least I can try. I can give Strike Five a try and give it a chance. But the Donkey Movie. Nope. I am not on board with this idea at all. In fact, I'm kind of boycotting it. Though. Like I am not uh, excited for 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 this idea uh, whatsoever. Uh, I think uh, this is a bad idea. I mean, Strike Five might have some effort put into it. Maybe there could be something in it. But the Donkey Movie. This, it's obvious that this is just uh, cashing in on uh, the success of the Puss in Boots movie. So, but there is a reason why Puss in Boots got a spin-off. Uh, he was actually a spin-off worthy character and we needed to, to, to know uh, and, and, and we needed to know more about him. We, we deserved to know more about him, which is why it was made. But a donkey spin-off, uh, that is a big fat no. Like, I'm sorry DreamWorks, but this is a dumb idea and I think th th this could be the, the the worst film in the Shrek universe since uh, Shrek the Third yes guys I am going that far yeah um I don't, I don't have a lot to say about this about this film this idea but I just hate it I, I, I hate this idea Hollywood like stop making spin-offs to animated psych comic relief characters we don't need them at least was it Booth felt felt more genuine and and you we, we probably knew that he actually deserved a spin-off but but uh, uh donkey no um fuck no uh who the hell even asked uh, for 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 a donkey spin-off uh, i i don't even see the the, the possibility oh it, yeah th this is an obvious uh, cash grab yeah this is probably one of uh dreamworks's uh, biggest cash grabs and yeah, I am uh, dreading this movie, and whatever year this movie uh puts it in, uh whatever year this movie, uh is releasing in, I am certainly go going to add this movie to my most anticipated movie of that year. Le I mean, my sorry, my least anticipated movie of that year, if you excuse me. Um, and yeah, I I I don't know what was DreamWorks thinking. Yeah, uh, so yeah, yeah, I guess that that's all I have to say about this one. So yeah. So that's all for, for my review of me sharing my honest thoughts on, on Shrek 5 and uh, and Donkey. Oh yeah, also I forgot I mentioned, when I predict, when my prediction on when uh, Shrek 5 uh, could release, uh, could possibly release, um, yeah, so I have two options. Um, considering that, that every single Shrek movie has come out in May, I think Shrek 5 could have a May release. Uh, Maybe either May 9 or May 16. Not May 23 or May 30 because like we got Mission Impossible 8 and Karate Kid reboot in there. But I think May 9 or May 16 is good since there isn't really a lot of them. Uh, well, Flower Ve Veil Street, I am actually watching that. It's been, since that, that's an original film and it's an IMAX film. But I can see Shrek 5 releasing alongside Flower Veil Street. Uh, um, yeah, something. But... but May 2025 may be too early because there could have been more updates by now. I can see a possibility of a December release, but maybe th th they can just get rid of it. They can probably just delay uh, Sponge, uh, the, search for the Sponge for Movie 4 uh, to February or March, maybe February, a lot of stuff, and have, uh, you know, this, have, um, yeah, they could probably give uh, um, Shrek 5 you know, a December release. And maybe, um, yeah, a friend of mine told me that uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, which is, is initially coming out in December 5, uh, could get delayed. Uh, and I could kind of see that happening. Or maybe at least push to October 2025. Yeah, um, but um, yeah, I will admit though, Five Nights at Freddy's coming out in December is weird. But so. I don't think maybe if Five Nights at Freddy's had doesn't release in uh, December, I think Shrek Five uh, could release in December five because yeah, if uh, Puzzle Boots uh, the Last Wish can can release in December, then so can Shrek Five. So yeah, 
so yeah, anyways yeah that's all for the video uh so uh what are your thoughts on the video uh what are your thoughts on shrek 5 and donkey uh are you um hyped for uh both films or uh do you are you mixed at this one thinking that you're on board with one of them but the other you're, you're not on board and uh, or do you agree with me that that, that both movies are, are unnecessary comment down below like subscribe hit the notification bell and stay tuned for uh Stay tuned for uh, my uh, ranking of all Pixar franchises uh, video. So yeah, bye guys.